Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I have been playing around today on and off, racking my brain for new ideas or different ideas to kind of perk my creativity up a bit. And I decided that I needed to go through some old um, jelly prints in my drawer and get them out and use them for something. So I made one, two, three, four, five little books, and I'm going to show them to you. Here's the, here's some of the strips from what I did, and these are the larger pieces that are like, you know, different sizes because the paper that I used were di was different sizes, were different sizes, and, um, and I want to use these, but I also wanted to do jellies on the back, jelly prints on the back. This is the only one that I have it two-sided. It would be easier if I had jelly printed on both sides of the paper. So I'm going to go back one day when I'm feeling especially messy, and I will jelly print on the backs of these. That way, when I make a book, I don't have to do what I did to some of these others over here. So this is... Um, the remnants of the pile and these were the little parts that I took off like the edges and stuff like that and I think I got rid of a lot of the pieces that had white well let's see this one right here you know how you, your your plate doesn't go quite up to your eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and there was the white strip so I took a lot of the white strips off and then I ended up with strips like this when I got done I'm saving them because these are very valuable strips. All right, so there's that. All right, so let me show you what I start off with. I really wanted to make uh, a small journal of sorts that's scrappy. So I took a file folder, like, you know, what you use to file your stuff away in. Oh, this is all tangled up now. I never intended for this to happen. Okay. We are a mess. Can I slide it off? Mm, well, yes. <laughs> but then, that's okay. All right. So I took a file folder, which what you can see it was a blue file folder, and I folded it up. I used a drop paper that I really like the colors of. Why is it the drop paper always looks much better than what you intend for the original thing? I don't know how that happens. Maybe I should just forget jelly prints and just make nothing but drop papers because sometimes they look better than when I intended my paper to look like. Please tell me I'm not the only one. All right, so I cut down this file folder and I, had, I put some creases in one part of it where there weren't any creases because I wanted to go over, you know, the flap here. So I took jelly prints and tore them apart. I don't know if that's, this one's in the pile that I've got sitting right here. I may have used all of that piece of paper up. Some of them were kind of on the smallish side, and I used them all up till they were like, you know, teeny weedy bits. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I took the jelly prints and I sewed them together because, you know, the majority of them were only one-sided. So I went ahead and sewed my jelly prints together. I gave them a little glue and then I went on the machine and did straight stitching. I didn't do any zigzag stuff. I straight stitched them together. I really like this one. And, and then I put three... Yeah, there's three signatures in here. And you can see that came from that. So these are the remnants. Oh, is there another one? Oh, there's another. No, nope, that's not the same color. Nope, those are the wrong ones. Anyway, this one, for sure. <laughs> um, so these are all double-sided papers now. And the book is rather bulky because of the fact that I sewed two pieces together on every one of them. There are two sheets in here. Now, some, uh, most of these are my jelly prints. This one, I don't know if this is my jelly print. I don't think it is. I think somebody gave this one to me, but I don't, I don't remember. But most of this is, is my handiwork. And they've been sitting in a drawer for, I don't know, four or five years. I think it's time to use them up.
I'm just happy to make more space in the drawer so I can make new jelly prints. And there's, I just stuck random pieces of jelly print in here to kind of cover up the blue from the file folder. I do not care. This is not finished. That wasn't my intent. So I decided that not only did I want to make little books to use up my jelly prints, I wanted to do a different technique for every book I make for a closure. So this one is just this little beaded doodad and it just hangs in there and keeps it closed. Um, I learned this from Carla at Caged Fish. I think maybe I made it a little too short, but you know, it's my first time. There we go. I like it. it I'm going to have a hard time for it sitting next to another book on the bookshelf, but I really like it. All right, so after I got done with that one, I had miscellaneous, miscellaneous pieces of paper that were torn, and I decided I needed another little book. So this is yet another closure. This is just through here like that, and it is actually physically sewn onto the cover. So I took a jelly print and some random um, white cardstock I had set aside, and I glued the jelly print on the white cardstock, and as you can see, there it is, and I did sew it. This is sewn to look decorative and then glued on here, and then this just slips through there. That way, when it gets bulky, it might only slip through that far, you know? Okay, there's room for expansions, shall we say. So these are the companion pieces to some of the other ones in this book. So again, because they're not double-sided, I did take them and I sewed them together. I know this is not my jelly print, because I don't think I, well, uh, no, I don't think this is mine. I think somebody gave that one to me. But the back side of it is my, well, I don't know. Anyway, some of these are mine, some of these are somebody else's. And I can't tell you who. I think I know, but I can't say for sure. All right, so this is just filled again with random pieces of jelly prints that are, double, that are doubled and sewn together. I really like the sewn pages. Remember, I don't like to sew, so I really wanted to do this badly. There are two kinds of, in, in my mind, there are two kinds of craft people. There are process crafters and project crafters. I enjoy the process of a lot of things. Sewing is not one of them. <laughs> but this is a project. Today I was a project crafter because the sewing was part of the project and I wanted the project to turn out well. So sewing was part part of it and I did it despite how I don't really care for sewing. All right, so there's all of those. See, this still has a piece here and a piece there. So I am really using my scraps to the nth degree. All right, so you can see the stitching to keep this thing on. So I just close it, stick it in there, and it stayed. I didn't think it was going to work, but it has stayed all day. It hasn't flopped out. So that's book number book number two. Then from ripping down this stuff in here, I had little oddball pieces. So I took again another piece of um, jelly print that I made sewed around the outside and glued it onto cardstock to give it a little girth. Used my squared Velcro as my fastener. Then I took the little bitty pieces and I sewed them together because I just didn't want to waste all these cute little pieces. And they were big enough that I could sew them and get you know, the length out of it, and then in half to sew into the book. See? Look. There we go. I'm using it. So they're all different sizes, and I don't really care. I like the way it looks, and I'm very happy with the results. So there's these little scraps again, and then it just closes with the Velcro. Kind of a smallish thing. has has uh, three little signatures in it. All right, so <laughs> you guessed it. When I got done with this, I had more itty bitties. So I took a cat, um, 
I took yet a small piece of a scrap that wasn't exactly the same size that would fit into this one. So I made another little book with a different kind of closure. This is waxed, I think this is waxed linen that I would use usually for book binding, but this time I used it to tie the book closed. I put a little tag on the front with some dyed cotton sheet that I dyed. And then I took this, wrapped it around the book, put glue underneath it, the tag went over it in the front to hold it down, and then I took another piece of of a random strip, you know, this, whoops, kind of this kind of stuff, and then glued the tie down and then glued the paper over the tie so it will stay stuck. And then I have ties. And I did not sew these. I completely forgot to sew them. But I took these little bitty things and I glued them together as I was watching something on um, YouTube and I forgot to sew them. So there's little signatures sewn in here of still some of that paper that you saw in this one and then the other green one. I wish now I had sewn them, but I don't want to cut them out and redo it. So I'm going to leave them the way they are. I did at least remember to rip them with the, the ruler. So I'm happy about that part at least. And this is just the back of a calendar that had come from my mom. And I had done a jelly print on one side, but didn't finish the other and don't care. Ta-da! All right, so there's that one, and it's just going to get a cutesy little bow, and we're going to call it a day. All right, one more. I had itty-bitty pieces that weren't quite, you see, these aren't the same size exactly, and then when you open this, you'll see. So this one, the closure, is a belly band. So I took one of these strips, went around this, took an embellishment that I was using for the idea, one of the idea books that I had made in advance. This idea, I think, came from, uh, came from Cory Dahman, I think. So I have the little miscellaneous belly band, and yes, it slides off very loosely, but I have a feeling this is going to expand, so that's why I didn't make it very tight. So again, here are the pieces that were double glued together that were left over from cutting down this stuff and put them in yet another little book. It only has one signature. See, remember this one in the other book? The blue that I said I liked? That's the little um, off cut from that. And then I made this little tiny book here. Another one. So I have made five little tiny scrapbooks today, or five scrapbooks today, each with a different closure. And I didn't spend any money because, you know, I'm not allowed to till January. I didn't spend any money doing this. It was all scraps and stuff I had on hand from other projects that I incorporated into this. All right, y'all. You can do this. I did it. Y'all can do this, too. So get going. Make something out of your scraps and make it great. See you guys next time. Bye.